Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending December 11th, 2022. And we're going to start out with some weird anime news. Not, it's it's just odd, I think. Um, High Dive has dropped some titles temporarily. They made this sort of kind of announcement. They revealed to ANN that, quote, there's a regular and ongoing curation of its library. And so some of, it, of its series are temporarily unavailable, but will, will return in early 2023. So they just disappeared. And then they'll come back later. A what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Amagi Brilliant Park, Digi Carrot are among them. They do not have a list. It just said, yeah, some of our stuff isn't available for a while. Why does this sound um, like it's, it's, a licensing it's a, problem? Yeah, 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 right. So um, you know. it, it should be pointed out, um, uh, Sentai Holdings, which runs High Dive, was acquired by AMC Networks. Um, AMC Networks is not doing great. Um, they're planning to lay off about 20% of its employees um, due to subscriber oh. losses, um, like streaming services have not offset the cost of cable cutting um so that's a thing um the uh the current ceo stepped down november 28th after less than three months in her role Boy. so i don't know what's going on there the, the, and what makes this weird is it's not like you can snap renegotiate a bunch of contracts to Reduce the amount of money you're gonna you're gonna spend for three months. Yeah. So, what is going on at High Dive? Is there a solid chance that they're winding down operations? I don't know. Are they being prepared to be bought? Probably. Maybe. Maybe Sony is leveraging their uh, their Crunchyroll power and their their mm. Funimation power. They're just gonna swoop in on iDive. <laughs> what what if it's Netflix hmm? replacing you Netflix NHK? Is, you think you think Netflix is trying to uh, buy out iDive or take over the licensing of, the, of their titles? Yeah, but I like know. I mean, I'm just I'm yeah. just throwing stuff out there. I, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I, I yeah. honestly don't know. Yeah, I'm just trying to think through it because like. If they're going to get their licenses back, it's not like another licensor is going to be able to sweep in and grab them. Could someone be backing those for High Dive? Possible. It's also possible that there was some contractual problem. Mm. That they didn't license them properly. Oh, sort of like the early days of Crunchyroll when they were yeah. less yeah. than above board and things yeah. just suddenly disappeared sometimes. Licensing? What's that? Yeah, we, we're not sure what that could possibly be. <laughs> um, hmm. uh, you know, if it was an acquisition and the acquisition hmm. doesn't have the licenses carry with the acquisition, hmm. so they have to renegotiate them and then once the deal's inked, they can re-upload them, but then that would mm -hmm. suppose somebody's trying to buy them, which right. if they haven't announced that, who knows? Yeah. And why would you not say these are the ones going away? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Um because huh. that's that's not a hard thing to do, obviously. Yeah. So mm -hmm. why would you not want to make it easy? Right. Yeah. Unless it was a mistake on your part and you're trying to just say just never mind. You know. yeah. Oops! Don't look here. So <laughs> yeah. look, look over there. Look at look at the shiny object over there. Pardon mm -hmm. our dust while we yeah. reconfigure <laughs> right. our our curated catalog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know, but it, it is bizarre. Yeah, that's a weird. Um, that's a weird approach to this. So okay. yeah, very Def much. So. Well, it, hence why it's in weird news. Right. Exactly. <laughs> there you yes. go. Um. All right. Let's move on to I love anime announcements my personal favorite thing in the news. So let us move on to some anime announcements or anime announcements. Wow. I, love I don't know. That word. Um, <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. I just love that word. Uh, it's not even a real word. Is that a anime real word? word but yeah, but it, it sounds good. Anime, it sounds anime, good. Anime, exactly. Anime. Um, 
there's a new anime uh, coming out called 2.5D Dimensional Seduction. Uh, uh, oh my. Yes. Oh, oh my. Oh my, indeed. I'm down. Um, wow. I mean, what? Yes. Yes. Uh, there was another image that they had, which was even less safe for mm. work. <laughs> Still not um, work friendly, but okay. Yeah, no I mean, it's 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 better, believe me, than the other one. Um, um. So yes. Uh. Basically, main character is an otaku, no interest in, in, in real girls. Um. He is very interested in a sexy fictional two D manga character known as Liliel, who I'm assuming is the brunette. Um. But then he meets a real girl uh, whose passion is cosplay and joins his club. And turns out, guess what her favorite manga character is? Uh, and not only that, Conan. You're right, exactly. <laughs> oh, um, not only that, um, she has no problem cosplaying pretty much anything. Huh. Indeed. Uh. So it is a uh, uh, described as a hot-blooded romantic comedy. Indeed. Didn't didn't we used to call porn that? <laughs> now they like to be called spicy shows. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay. Mongo's on. Oh, go ahead. No, it's like, okay, okay. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it, it's funny we haven't had that many spicy shows, if you will, recently. Yeah, um, yeah. True. You know, so it, it does feel like it's almost kind of time for that. Um, Shonen Jump Plus manga. Um, it, it's 15th compiled book volume came out October 4th. So, it's, yeah, it's been going on for a while. Uh, right. 1.7 million copies in circulation. Wow. So, we'll see if it has yeah. enough uh, enough followers to uh, get a second season. <laughs> yes, it has enough enough bounce and exactly. enough enough assets to really, really go there. <laughs> um, moving on. <laughs> go, go, loser ranger. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, just got to love that. Go, go, loser, ranger. Sure. Now, the thing is, um, and if you watch the trailer, it's it's not, it, it is kind of a parody, but like the trailer is pretty hardcore. The plot is that the monster army invaded Earth 13 years ago. The divine dragon rangers appeared to stop them. Um, and it turns out the invaders were subjugated within a year. Um, but they they're forced to continue cranking out a monster of the week so that the Rangers will look good. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and cool. so the, okay. the plot is that one of the monsters has had enough, and so he's going to infiltrate the Rangers from the inside to take them down as one of the uh, Rangers. Guys, <laughs> this wow. reminds me of the Powerpuff episode where you know they literally one of the monsters goes. Literally, this is line. Hi, my name is Steve, and I'm from Monster Island. So <laughs> it's a real honor to fight the Powerpuff Girls and lose. Nice. Yeah. You know, so we can go back to Monster Island and say, "I fought them," and see, I got a black eye. Yeah, yeah. you got cred. Yeah. <laughs> One reason this is being made into an anime is because it is the um, next anime by the creator of the quintessential quintuplets. Oh wow! Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So they finished that, and then this was their next manga. Um, we started back in um, 2020, so it hasn't been around too long. Uh, but yes, uh, Kanji USA also has it in digitally and in print. So if you want to check it out, hmm. it's around there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry, that's for Quintessential Quintuplets. Um, Weekly Shonen Ma Magazine is doing the uh, Go Go Loser Ranger. <laughs> I just the title is just and, and, and I would point out like, like the original is like just um the original title is like Sentai Daishikaku. So clearly like somebody is translating that very specifically so we know what it means. Yeah. Good for them. Um also getting a adaptation of an anime called Genes of AI. Um or a a, uh, a an adaptation of a manga that is, which is set in a near future of common androids or these common artificial humans 10 percent of the human population is now artificial humans hmm. um human-like robotic artificial life as they describe it however they have their own problems and their own sicknesses and so the main character is a doctor specializing in um artificial intelligence like debugging basically and uh hmm. and their problems and their illnesses and so forth i'm assuming the implication is that like the technology ain't perfect yet, 
And yeah. so weird things can happen. God, that's like the Ghost in the Shell episode mm. um, where they had the androids called Andes, mm -hmm. and and they they all started offing themselves. Uh, oh, they, yeah, you know, committing suicide for some reason. And of course, the team's mm. sent in to investigate whatever. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And so that's well, that's kind of interesting. I like yeah, that. I like that. I like the idea of that. Yeah, Jeez, the trailer like an episode of Beatless as well had the same kind mm. of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, people started drop the androids started dropping on themselves off buildings. Mm. Yeah. Fun. yeah. Yeah, the trailer is very um, straight. Like it, it feels like a, you know, sci-fi drama kind of a storyline. Mm. So huh. looking forward to that. Ho hopefully, it's uh, yeah, <clears throat> it does that thing. Yeah. General Hospital for Androids. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did I leave the oven on? Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't normally do license check because it's something that often is not a, a big thing, but. Crunchyroll has is adding a bunch of movies in December that oh, I thought wow. people would want to hear Millennium about. Plenty of actress. Yeah. Oh, Penguin Highway. Mm -hmm. So just uh, back in December 8th, they added Sound Euphonium the movies, um, mm, yes. um, Haikata san and As the Gods Will. December 15th, they will add Millennium Actress, Liz and the Blue Bird, Penguin Highway, Mokaya, where the promise when the promise to them blue. Blah. When the Promised Flower Blooms, mm -hmm. sorry, Big Fish and Begonia, which is a Chinese animated film, and the two Overlord movies. Ooh. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then December 22nd, they'll release the Shirobako movie, a uh, movie called The Wonderland, the Isekai Quartet movie, that kind of movie, apparently. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I had heard that was coming. <laughs> oh, and God. all six Digimon Adventure Tri movies. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to get into that, they'll all be on Crunchyroll. Boom. Hopefully Crunchyroll will get the quintessential Quince movie, which apparently mm. opened this past week. Yeah. On like a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and the closest place it was showing was Lynchburg. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> I'm sure it will come. I hope. I hope, yeah. I hope. I mean, it's got it. Quintessential quintuplets. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's an yeah. easy win. That was a property Crunchyroll showed, so that should mm. hopefully means they have the license, including the movie. Please. Which of these that we're showing on screen have you guys seen, if any? Millennium Actress. None. Yeah. Um, I have not seen Penguin Highway, but I've only heard good things about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. I've seen Millennium. Heard good things about Penguin. Heard great things about Makaya. What is the one that's in the lower corner with the girl, the eye patch, and a bear? The, the lower left? Yeah. Yeah. That's your Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I was like totally yeah. thrown with it. <laughs> bear. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Kind of yeah, uh, uh, th those are her two toys. Okay. Yeah. That occasionally walk and talk. So Liz <laughs> and the Blue Bird sound mm -hmm. looks. Is that a. Who did that? Is, is that a Shinkai movie? That's, it, like, it feels, it feels um, like a Shinkai. Just looking at the. Yeah. No. Um, I believe. Let me check. Um, uh, Kyo Animation. Kyo Animation. Yeah, okay. Oh, yep. oh nice. Mm -hmm. um, um, it is... Ah, that is also a Sound Euphonium movie. Yay! Apparently. I love Sound Euphonium. So it is, it is in, the, in the franchise focusing on sort of other characters, apparently. Okay. I, I've, I've not seen Sound Euphonium other than the clips, so I'm... I, Cannot speak to any of the details of that. That's cool. It's just such a nice show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the normal anime news. Just, just anime news. Anime news. Just, just anime news. Um, I think folks will want to know Makoto Shinkai's Suzume. Yes. It's coming to U.S. theaters April twelfth next year. Um, mm -hmm. That will be a Crunchyroll release. Um, also, be releasing it outside of Asia. Um, I actually I misspoke. Um, I should I should retype this. It's coming to US theaters April 14th. Okay. Uh, the international release starts April 12th. That's France and Malta. Malta. Oh wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. April 13th, Australia, Brazil, Germany, Mexico, and New Zealand, and April 14th, Austria, Belgium, Canada, etc. United States. Hmm. Um, so that is the thing. And then there will be other screening dates for like Latin America, other European countries, etc. Um, so yes, that will, um, be the thing 
no other information on like how many theaters and so forth, but I'm assuming it'll be a pretty, a relatively wide release. Certainly, Weathering with You got a, a decent spread. Yeah. It usually makes it to Baltimore, usually. So mm-hmm. I'll probably get to see it either at the Senator or at the, the Charles, the two art houses. Cool. Well, if Bell could make it to my local art house, <clears throat> I'm yeah. hoping Susan May makes it to my yeah. local art yeah. house. You, you would hope. Yeah. You, you, you'd think. I mean, it's no Mugen Train, which I saw in like a regular <laughs> AMC theater. But yeah, no kidding. Um, <laughs> still haven't seen it. You've still not seen the train? I have not seen the train. I've not been on that train. I'm sure you can find it. Yeah, it'll it'll yeah. it'll be. It's so hard available. to find. I mean, I really barely know anything about this yeah. Mugen Train. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Did it do well in the theaters? I'm not sure. Decently, yeah, <laughs> decently well. Um, it just about covered its production. <laughs> oh yes. god. Yeah. A little bit, um, just a few dollars more. And by the way, Suzume um, has made about fifty-five million dollars US. Um, wow. So it did pretty well as well. Yeah, nice. Yay. Number eighty-seven film of all time at the Japanese box office. That that is a very typical wow. mm. Shinkai cover yeah. of a movie, but it's it still, is. It's, it's, <laughs> but it's beautiful. I, I well, love it. yeah. it's funny because it's very your name, right? The mm-hmm. Comet Trail mm-hmm. thing. Yep. Um, but also kind of weathering with you with the clouds and the details. So interesting. Very much looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, also, I almost put this into weird anime news, but I we, we, we know so little about it. Um, I kind of pulled it down here. Sean Kleckner's leaving Right Stuff. The co-founder of the Right Stuff, who has been essentially running it for the past several decades, is stepping down as of this week. Wow. So wow. he announced, I think it was last Wednesday, that like this upcoming Wednesday was going to be his last day. Peace out. Um, for those not familiar, Right Stuff was bought by Crunchyroll a little while back. Uh, the assumption was that was to be kind of be their merchandising arm. Um, the So he did the transi- uh, transition job and now it's done and so the yeah. new people come in. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, according to Anna, he expressed his confidence in the current Right Stuff management team at Crunchyroll. So kind of the, the standard, you know, I'm sure everyone's in good hands. Yeah. Move it I made, I, I got my check. The check did yeah. not bounce. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. that, that well, seems to be it. Well, that, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> out the door. Well, it makes sense because I get um, news updates from Right Stuff. I have mm. for years. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I linked on to their account or, you know, got it like I, I at some Otakon event or whatever I did. Mm. And it's been coming into my mailbox ever since yeah and i've noticed an uptick in like the amount of emails from right stuff uh, that i've been getting in you know like buy the merch buy the merch buy the merch buy the merch <laughs> our ceo is going down he wants more money buy the merch buy the merch buy the no. and then also reports on the origins of right stuff um Kleckner's friend todd todd Furson launched it initially as a company to purchase telescopes at wholesale prices what <laughs> nice <laughs> And so the company's name was originally spelled as The Right Stuff, both Fs, because of the movie. Yep. Oh, got right. it. Yeah. Okay. Got, got it, it, got it, got it. Um, then they renamed that to Right Stuff in 87 after they acquired their first anime license. Do you know what their first anime license <clears throat> was? I did not know this. What was it? Not a Astro Boy. What? It makes perfect sense. It does. <laughs> it makes wow. perfect sense. Like, wow. Good Good for you all. To yeah. Bringing that over. So, yep. That is a thing. Um, Telescope it, company to anime. Then <laughs> <Amazing. Yeah. laughs> eventually, they found it obviously in his own to actually handle the, the licensing of all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, which is licensed, by the way. Get a chance at some point. Go to the Nozomi Entertainment like page on ANN to see all the stuff they've licensed. It's kind of funny. Um, just tons and tons of things. But yeah, he's he's leaving, which is sad. Yeah. End of an era. End of an wonder, era. wonder if he's made enough to retire and just live out the, his days in, on his Hawaiian island, or if it's now on to the yeah. next next project. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming he got enough pay to at least say, "I don't have to do anything for a while." Yeah, so I can just take for a break. The next Fifteen minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta chill out for a little while. Also, this week. News stories that we want to kind of mention, but not necessarily, oops, actually, there we go. Um, that we want to mention, but not necessarily need to go into huge amounts of detail on. Um, the Reincarnated is a Slime film, doing well. Um, Yay. It has made 750 million yen, 
in uh, 12 days. That's about $5.5 million. So, Damn. Okay. Good on you. So done. No complaints there. Um, Crunchyroll does have that, and they will also show that in theaters in early 2023. Yay! <laughs> yep. I'm going to go back to the theater. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> And then some sad news worth kind of noting on. Um, a vendor at Anime Palace um, oh, yeah. suffered a significant injury at Anime New York City back on November 20th. Um, uh, he was loading out the front entrance, uh, at the front entrance of the Javits Center. Um, and um, an accident occurred. Part. Paramedics had to form chest compressions. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 significant stuff. Um, so is he still in ICU now? Um, I have not. Uh, he was out of the ICU as of no, 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 excuse me. He was out of the ICU as of November thirtieth. Okay, so good. yes, he's been out okay. for, for a little while. Um, there was a GoFundMe campaign set up to help uh, pay for his medical bills because he um, had no insurance. No insurance. Um, oh boy. Um, yeah. So, so some of the other details on this. Um, yeah, they're crazy. He was still loading out two and a half hours after the event was over. That's Holy. when the event. Occurred. Um, um, that was after the beginning of the convention where vendors had waited Wait, 10, hours. 10 hours to get their merchandise loaded into yep. the convention center. Yep. Um, also, um, uh, the, the individual, uh, Wade Wiles, um, set up booths for Anime Palace across 46 conventions this year. He was at Otakon. Yeah. That's a lot of lot of traveling. That's every yeah. week. And and guess what else this guy does? Mm. Did he was an Uber driver? Yep. DoorDash, Uber Eats. DoorDash, Uber Nights. Mm -hmm. Yep. Making ends meet. Navy veteran. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, that that was a thing. Um, wow. uh, Peter Tatara, who operates in New York City, um, we a statement saying that they've. They've checked everything. They've they've looked over security uh, camera footage, and it looks like it was a pure accident. Like there was no, right? You know, yeah, yeah. It wasn't um, negligence or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. It you was know, just, just, just just bad happened. luck. Yep. Mm -hmm. But best of luck, Wade. Yes. I hope you are able to recover fully. Um, thank you for all of your help in setting up all of those things. It's a it's a thankless, tough job. Yeah, it is because wow. when you take a look at some of those stands and some of those stalls and and the timed, yeah, it's. I mean, that's just a thing. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a thing. God bless them for those mm -hmm. people who put those who put them up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hopefully, so. it'll make a full and fast recovery. Exactly. Indeed. Yep. That's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you all next week. Kids, do bye bye. Sayonara.